going Brian Tom here welcome back to another video now in today's video I've got a really cool idea really fun idea that you can use yourself to you know make one of those viral videos make these videos that tend to do really well online and are just really fun to make it's a really cool trick to have so what I'm gonna be doing is based off Jordy Qualtics work he made one with a bike a while ago but I'm gonna be putting my own spin on it using a skateboard I have this weird skateboard in my house it's actually not a four-wheel skateboard it's a two-wheel skateboard so you have to like wiggle it loads and wiggle it back foot and front foot to move it's kind of funky kind of cool so basically I'm gonna use this to make a quick video of me just transitioning scene to scene and using my back leg to mask out scene to scene now that won't make any sense right now to most of you so let's just go straight outside I'm gonna take the clips and then you'll understand exactly what I'm trying to do Trippy. All right, so we're in location number one. It's only just started to rain. It's been sunny all day until now, so hopefully it'll kind of lose the rain a little bit. It'll be, it's in and out, so we'll get sun and rain. And basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take all these clips with my Samsung S21 Ultra. It's just the phone I have, because I'm working with Samsung right now, so that's what I'm using, and it's really good for video. I'm filming in 60 frames per second on the phone. So what I'm gonna do is basically, I'm gonna take a few clips all in the same position. So I'm gonna hold the phone at the same height and pan behind my brother's leg as he uses this funky skateboard thing. So then each time I go behind is a new clip. And you wanna make sure that every time you film a clip, you do the opposite of last time. So if I start the pan going right and then snap back left, I start the next clip starting left and then snapping back right. So I'm gonna get these clips now, go to loads of different locations, probably four or five. And yeah, let's see how it turns out. Okay, so we got all our clips now. We've got four clips. One was in a park, one was just on some nice pavements. One was just here, right behind me here, and the last one was between the red pillars. So once you have four or five clips like that, you, we're gonna get straight into editing and combine them all together. So yeah, we're gonna head home now. Hopefully it doesn't rain us too much, and I'll see you when we're editing. So once we have your clips, it's time to get editing and editing this is going to be so simple. So basically I'm just going to do it with two of the clips and then the same settings are going to apply to all the clips if you want to make a sequence of you sliding in and out of these transitions. So basically grab your clips, drag one clip on top of the other clip and match them up so the point where your foot slides across the screen matches with the other point where your foot slides across the screen. And basically all you do, you tap on the top clip, you go to this little pen tool, tap on this pen tool, draw a mask in a box around the area you're gonna raise, make sure to tap on this little time watch thing, and then just frame by frame, just slowly move the mask over and over again until your frame is completely moved off, until you've masked out the entire frame. And then once you've masked out the entire frame, the layer below will be revealed, and just tweak around with this until you get it right. Maybe your layer below might have to shift left or right, but once you do that, it'll be really smooth, and do this for the rest of your clips, and you have a really smooth sequence. This is a little bit more complicated because we did a skateboard, and you're really swerving back and forth. To make it more ideal, make sure you're phone or your camera is on the exact same level, exact same height every single time you film and make sure you go the same distance over and back and the same distance from the subject you're filming. So yeah, I made it a little bit harder for myself by filming from different angles and different, you know, lengths each time, but you know, a bit of editing, a few keyframes here and there, got it all good and this is the result you come out with. All right, so before we close out this video, we have question of the day. If you want to be question of the day, I'll give your Instagram a shout out and respond to your question right here on the channel. So today's question of the day is from Lucy Jane Moores. It's Instagram, it's Lucy Jane Moores in one go. And she says, I make color adjustments in Lightroom, then export to Photoshop. After the final corrections, I save as JPEG. But lately, as soon as I hit save, the photo then shows the original raw colors. So basically, she's losing all her editing progress that she saved across other devices, if I'm getting this correct. And basically, a way to get around this, usually this happens is because your local storage is full, most commonly found on like phones and iPads and stuff because they tend to kind of condense and use up as little storage as possible. So to get around this, you can either clear up storage elsewhere or in the Lightroom app, you can go to settings, go to local storage and press clear cache. This basically clears 
your memory of all past photos you've edited. It'll keep the editing settings you've applied to the photo, but it just won't save them directly to your phone. So if you want to download a photo that you've edited a year ago, if you want to download that in full quality, you'll have to re-download it again instead of leaving it there on your phone's memory. And then, yeah, this is one way around it. So. Hope that answers your question. I really hope I phrased it right. Yeah, if anyone wants to be question of the week next week, leave it in the comments down below. And make sure to tap subscribe before you leave. Give it a thumbs up. See you soon.